Hi, David Mason, El Paseo Road. I thought I would lighten up this meeting tonight a little bit here. <laughs> and uh, this is the story of a room, not just any room, but without a doubt the most famous room in the entire Ojai Valley. When the Ojai Valley Inn was built, this room was the center of all activities. Then during the Second World War, the room known as the Neff Lounge was used for headquarters for Camp, Camp Oak, the army base that had taken over the inn, and later when the Navy was in control of the property. After the war and back in private ownership, the room once more regained its popularity. It was the scene of a reception for the former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt when she was staying at the inn to promote her March of Dimes. In the same room, Madame Chenault, often with Madame Chiang Kai-shek, would yearly receive the surviving members of the Flying Tigers. They were a group of American military and civilians given the mission to protect China against the Japanese forces. They became known as the Chinese Air Force under General Chenault. The beautiful actress Jane Mansfield was also there to meet the boys, as she was always Miss Flying Tigers. Bob Hope and Bing Crosby entertained, along with many musical concerts. In the winters, there was a roaring fire in both fireplaces. It was a cozy room for sure. Nancy and Ronnie Reagan found comfort in the lounge, talking and making plans for the future, probably not expecting to be making plans for being the president of the United States. At almost the same time, Reagan's ex-wife, Jane Wyman, would be found in the lounge with her dear friends and owners of the inn, Loretta Young and Irene Dunn along with the beautiful Rita Hayworth. Over the years, the room was badly mistreated, and in the 50s, it was increased in size by a modern addition, not at all in keeping with the style of the architecture. It became a very sad-looking room. Then, with much joy and excitement, the room was restored back to its original, not as close as possible. It once more was the grand room that Mr. Libby had enjoyed in 1923 when he entertained Mr. and Mrs. William Randolph Hearst in that very room. After the 1924 restoration, the National Trust for Historic Preservation deemed it to be eligible as one of their historic hotels of America. Quite an honor as they only selected 250 <laughs> hotels in the whole United States. This gave the inn wonderful advertising all over the world. The National Trust, in writing about the building with the Neff Lounge, said, they have faithfully maintained the authenticity, sense of place, and architectural integrity. They also stated it is now eligible for the listing on the Registry of Historic Places. This room today is beautiful, historic, and deserves all the praise and honors that it has received. Thank you.